than one thought at a glance and in doing so that helps to clarify your thinking and there are mind map is a diagram This is the step one and next step two means uh, lightening up, starting with an open, create to attitude. Let go of the idea of solving the entire problem. This is the step two. That means center first to the lightening up and the step, step outwards into branches and sub branches. And this is all about the step three. And now we are moving to the step four. Your brain works best in five to seven minutes first. So capture the ideas as rapidly as possible. Keywords, symbols, and images provide a mental shorthand for recording ideas as quickly as possible this is all about the step four and uh, now we Dithi, your voice is not audible Uh, I may know what happened. Yeah, Dipti. Sir, complete it, sir. Okay, thank you. Come back to you. Rohit? Rohit, please start your presentation, please. Thank you. 
sih. Samira ni? Samira ni ada dia? Yes sir. Are you ready to present your presentation? Your voice is not clear sir. Are you ready to present your presentation? Yes sir. Ya kah dia? Yeah, good morning, sir. Good morning. Now I am going to give my idea about immersive and mixed reality in online collaboration sessions. Before going to that, we need to know about online collaborations. Online collaborations is a process of working together on a project over the internet. This can include uh, such as platforms, emails, instant messaging, project management, software, and video conferences like this. Online collaborations allows team members to work together and in real time regarding to the communication difficulties and need of available internet connections. The demand for the online collaborations has increased significantly in recent years. Driven by the rise of work or need for the business to move, to move flexible and adaptable fast paced globalized economy and online collaboration tools and platforms are used for the wide range purposes include virtual meetings and conference calls document and file sharing project management like this these tools and platforms allow team members to communicate efficiently and share information and ideas regarding to their platform locations physical locations like this um, now we move to the immersive and mixed reality in online collaborations Immersion and mixed reality can be used to enhance the online collaboration sessions by allowing users to interact with virtual environments and objects in a way to feel more natural. There are a number of different types of immersive and mixed reality technologies available, uh, like AR and VR. Means argumented reality, virtual reality, and mixed reality, like this. Uh, we develop, I choose develop uh, these techniques by using AR or VR techniques. To develop a platform to immerse and mixed reality in online collaborations using advanced VR or techniques uh, can give several key elements, hardware and software. One important factor to consider the hardware and software required to support
ದ್ವಿತೀಯ ವಾಯ್ಸ್ ಸಾರಿ ಸಂಜೆಯ ವಾಯ್ಸಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆಡೋದು the rise of remote work immersive in reality technology can be to create sandhya immersive Excuse and engaging me. experience sandhya sir Excuse sir me. sir your screen is not visible your screen is send it the screen is not visible and you are not able to we should is finish sharing and resume your presentation then the moving me yeah hello hello yeah dikhi hello sir sanjay your voice is audible to me please start your presentation sir sanjay is there visible your voice is audible to me there are several business teams and opportunities for this online collaboration um by using ar or vr techniques like remote work with the right of remote work immersive and mixed reality technologies can be used to create Rohit, please start your presentation. this growth is driven by a number of factors including increasing demand for more immersive and engaging ways to collaborate remotely and advanced technologies additional factors to contribute the market growth is संध्या रानी संध्या रानी सर सर इज देयर विजिबल मी या संध्या प्लीज कंटिन्यू योर प्रेजेंटेशन फॉर दिस पर्पस 
I take an idea and I prepare a solution for it. And that problem is, uh, many organizations today has a lot of employees working remotely, which can make it challenging to collaborate and communicate efficiently. Traditional communication methods such as phone calls and video conference and emails are not always sufficient for creating sense of presence and connection among team members, which can be lead a low productivity and poor team morale. For this, I prepare a solution for it. And that uh, solution will be explained by my team member, Shravanti. Hi, sir. This is Shravanti. Now I am explaining the solution for the above problem. One solution to this problem is to use immersive and mixed reality technology to create a more immersive and engaging experience for remote teams. Using VR or AR headsets or smart glasses, employees can enter a virtual environment where they can interact with each other and digital objects as if they were in the same physical space. This can help to create a sense of presence and connection among team members, which can lead to improved collaboration, communication, and productivity. Additionally, the use of avatars and spatial computing can help creating the sense of being in the same room and enhance the communication experience. Furthermore, using a VR or AR technology can also be used to facilitate remote training and onboarding where employees can learn and interact in a virtual environment, which can also improve the efficiency of the process. Finally, by tracking and analyzing the usage of the platform, the organization can also measure the impact and evaluate the performance of the immersive and mixed reality technology, which can help to optimize and improve the remote collaboration experience. The cross-industry application is immersive and mixed re reality technologies have the potential to be applied across a wide range of industries and can provide a significant benefits for online collaborations in each of them. Here are a few examples of cross-industry application of immersive and mixed reality in online collaborations. They are the healthcare, education, manufacturing and real estate and gaming and entertainment. These are the applications for cross-industry. Thank you, sir. I hope you like this idea, sir. Thank you for giving this opportunity. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. We'll get back to you soon. Thank you, sir. Rohit, please start your presentation. It is audible. Now it is audible. Yeah, good afternoon. Good afternoon. This is Arohit and B. Mansa from Chalapati Institute of Engineering and Technology. Come uh, pursuing a computer science and engineering third year. And today I have an innovative on, on conversation AI chatbot analytics. And uh, what is conversation AI chatbot? A conversation AI chatbot is a computer program that uses natural 
language process and machine learning techniques to stimulate conversation with human users and uh, these chatbots are designed to understand and respond to text or voice input from users and can be integrated into various platforms such as websites mobile apps and uh, mobile apps and platforms and voice and what are the be- what are the business of problems or opportunities discussed within few sentences like elevator pitch and uh, now we all are facing these problems in conversation ai chat but there is no slang and uh, jargon and uh, dialects that don't conform to standard language background noise that distorts the speaker's voice and unscripted questions that uh, the chatbots are which virtual assistant doesn't know how to answer and unplanned response from your customers reverses and conversation ai has never encountered and does not how to respond and uh, what unmute need does it serve why does the customer or target segment may want this in recent uh, years chatbots have been performed perfect and made their way into day to day tasks related to customer services they ask the questions they ask the questions and they answer and they convert to make our life easier but are they really as effective as them seem they offer many advantages also there are still some problems to solve chatbots are capable of constant and automated refinement they get trained through user queries and understand them to give best response customer services chatbot provided a value to customer as well as business <laughs> they are here to say and make the customer's journey make pleasant and productive enhanced customer experience personalization and 24 by 7 support process automation and brand recognition easy scalability minimize customer support and and who is intended customer or target segment define the target segment and the intended customer or target segment for the conversation ai chatbot may very depend on specific application for industry however generally speaking they can use it by an uh, any business or organization that want to improve their customer service streamline their operation or reduce cost some some example for of industries that may benefit from a conversation ai chatbot include retail or healthcare finance and telecommunication additionally the target segment can be individual or group group of individual who could benefit from interacting with chatbot for example customer seeking uh, assistance with a product or service patients seeking information about their health or student looking for help with with their studies and uh, one and what is the market size the market size of conversation ai chatbot analysis growing rapidly according to the report of markets and uh, markets the global chatbot mar- market size was valued at usd 2.6 billion in 2020 and it is expected to reach usd 9. billion by 2025 at a csgr of 20, 29.7% during forecast period this growth is driven by factors such as increasing adoption of ai and natural language process technical technologies and the growing demand for automation and self service options and the need to improve customer services and reduce cost cost and chatbot analysis is a part of chatbot marketing therefore the size of this sub market sub market is also growing it important to notice that this is a project and the market growth can change based on several factors such as technical advancement economic conditions and the change in consumer consumer preferences and the what the idea solution is the conversation ai chatbot analysis is a solution that involves using ai and natural language processing technique technologies to analyze the and understand the conversation that take place between a chatbot and its users this anal- analysis can be used to improve the performance of the chatbot and provide better user experience and the solution can involve several steps such as collecting and storing data on the conversation that take place between the chatbot and its users using natural language processing techniques to analyze the conversation and identify patterns and trends identifying common user queries and uh, the information to improve its knowledge base or it trying to handle specific cra- case and tracking metrics such as customer satisfaction task completion rate and response time to ev- evaluate the performance of the chatbot over time and make adjustments as need the idea behind this solution is to use the data and insight gained from the analysis to optimize the chat performance improve the avail- ability to understand and respond to user queries and to enhance the overall user experience the importance to note that 
this is the general idea and specific implementation of solution can vary depend on the chatbot and uh, the demonstrated demonstrate a clear roadmap for the solution including the market launch the first of all we have to take a market research and analysis analysis and the solution design and deployment development and testing and validation after that the deployment and integration uh, take the marketing marketing and launch the uh, ai chatbot and more continuously improvement and uh, after that uh, uh, launching the have to analysis that um, enhance analysis that chatbot uh, references that customer using uh, as, uh, as existing user or new user or um, as a uh, under uh, that user have to important to note that this is a general roadmap for the specific steps and timelines may vary de- depending on a specific use case industries and requirement of the business actually the launch of the solution should be well planned and executed with a clear communication strategy and plan of scaling up the solution in case of the success and I thank you giving this opportunity thank you rohit we will get back to you soon Uh, so can i start my presentation yeah that's from which college are you from sir i'm from christ university yeah that's from your study presentation okay sir So the screen would be visible, right? Yeah, that's not visible. Okay, so I start. Okay, so I have a plan of the Black Fox Gaming Studios. So the idea behind the Black Fox Gaming Studios is basically uh, we saw a lot of interest among the youth uh, in the gaming now these days. Okay, so like uh, I got an idea that how we can centralize the gaming industry. so that uh, because gaming industry contributes to our economy about 10% so how we can create something in gaming so that uh, it would be beneficial to both the economy as well as the people so that's where the black fox gaming studios enters so the innovative idea behind us is that the indian gamers cannot like they have the power of the gaming they know how to game but uh, we do not have a proper start of gaming chains in india so to uh, avoid the situations that the indian gamers feels that they are not respected in the society we are creating a chain of gaming centers across india that will provide a proper support and guidance to the gamers in india so like the problem which are have like the in the gaming industry we saw a lot of problems which is the main is the gamers do not get that respect second is like there is no proper branded gaming community in india like uh, for eyewear we have the lens cart in india which is the branded community for eyewears but uh, for gaming community we do not have any brand so and also like the gamers do not think that the gaming is as an option like they like to do gaming but nobody considers gaming as an option occupation that's the problem arise so uh, we at black fox gaming studios are uh, going to provide the advanced resources as well as the proper technology to the gamers so that they can have the proper exposure of the things uh, that they deserve in the society and uh, like what black fox gaming studios basically solves so our idea basically solves that uh, india in india we will bring a chain of gaming centers in which we will inculcate all the basics like we have gaming shops nearby so we will coordinate with them and will create a franchise business model so that uh each and every gaming shop can be converted into a branded shop of gaming for ex- which is the black fox gaming studios and that's how we will spread across india and grow our community in gaming second is the business model business model is basically very first very so small uh because the market in gaming industry is very like it's small now but it's getting very enlarged uh, day to day but we can have the local gaming zones under us and get the black fox gaming studios as a name like Oyo is the name for all the local hotels. Oyo provides the booking to all the local hotels. That just that the hotels are using the name of the Oyo. 
so we can also give it the name of the gaming centers nearby as black fox gaming studios and ask the customers to like uh, have the experience and then start we can also give the free tutorials and everything their suggestions we can we will also send the our like major membership customers to the further competitions in the gaming which are held across the world like esports organize many of the gaming competitions in india and uh, worldwide etc we can also like how will get connected to the customers so we'll basically create an android or a ios app so that we can easily communicate with our customers and we can solve their queries thereby and uh, competition our competition would be basically the local gaming zones because uh, as per my uh, research we do not have any uh, proper branded gaming community in india or uh, and the branded gaming chain in india that's why we are the first one to enter in this market so we'll get the first mover advantage as well as we will uh, like it's a open market right uh, customers are more gamers are increasing day by day but they are not getting any platform so the black fox gaming studios will basically provide them a platform where they can show their skills where they can show their efforts where they can show like they they will consider themselves as an occupation and uh, the gaming will not be like that guilt like if a person ask me like what you do i'm a gamer like the person should not feel that this gaming is not a profession in our society next is the growth prospects like uh, at current the gaming industry has reached by 3.9 billion in 2025 it will reach to 3.9 billion and 69% around 69% as a research 69% of the indian youth play the games online games such as uh, pubg valorant and etc they used to play and uh, the potential growth can be uh, like to 2030 you can see a potential growth of about 89% in the gaming industry and the youth will be diverted to that and uh, we also have like government is also seeking now uh, gaming as a sector like it could also be a part of the economy now that, that the gaming can also contribute uh, go like government is setting up some uh, call like special courses for the people who want to do gaming visual effects animation center of excellence in collaboration with iit bombay and everything they are planning and uh, even the karnataka and the telangana has the dedicated state level avg pro policies where they promote the uh, gamers of that state and provide them the platform to go ahead in this field uh, our mission our vision is basically to get the respect for each and every gamer in india so that he doesn't feel that he is not the part of the community and uh, just that it should be like the gaming is normal like the gaming should be treated as a person who is a doctor like the person as a doctor is respected in the society a gamer should also get that respect because he is contributing to the economy we can see a lot of gamers in today's world like in the youtube you can see very streams and uh, many other things but uh, like they earn a lot okay so they are contributing more than the doctors in today's world the big gamers are contributing more so i think they should be respected and uh, they well deserve it that's where i end my presentation sir thank you thank you dashan uh, we'll come in come back to you soon okay thank you sir So, Lakshmi, are you ready with your presentation?
Sri Lakshmi, are you ready with the presentation? Hello. Yeah, Lakshmi. Uh, Hello, sir. Lakshmi and Burma, are you already with your presentation? Hi, sir. Yeah, share your screen and start your presentation. Is my. Oh, okay. Yeah, your voice is audible. Oh, okay, sir. Good morning to Ananda. My name is K. Sri Lakshmi Anapurna. Now I am here to tell about uh, a new idea of about conversational artificial intelligence analytics. So uh, basically this idea is based on chatbots, if you, you want to say in few, in simple manner. And we have, we already know that what is a chatbot and how it is used. And there are so many types of chatbots we use in real life. For example, if we take uh, uh, some known chatbots are uh, Alexa, Siri, Google Assistant. Some these are the things we have already know the chatbots and examples. Chatbots means it is a direct uh, conversation about about uh, uh, between customer and machine. But we can raise a question: Why there? Why there must be a conversation between or uh, interaction between machine and customer when there is a human interaction? So if you take an example in a field or an office or uh, 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 something, in an office, the manager will uh, assign the works to the under the employees who are working under him. So after some amount of time, the employees may be tired or maybe uh, not interested in doing that work. So, but when, when it comes to customers, the comes to, uh, customer's pressure is already has been put into the employees. They must have done the work in the, in the, in com in the complete of time. At this time, the manager has can also can't do anything because the employees are very tired, they can't do any work. In this time, if you use the chartboard analysis, it can work 24 hours without any tiredness or any other things. It can work for more faster than the humans. So there is a con uh, interaction between the chartboards and customers. So this is the main idea for uh, discovering or invention the chartboards. Now our main theme is chartboard analysis. This is uh, totally based on uh, collecting the information or the data storing. So in this, if we see the uh, some basic need in the opportunity side, business need. First, we have to identify the business problem. And next, need assessment value proportion. So what is the business problem or opportunity? If you know about the business problems and it, uh, in what way it helps the business or in what conversations. The business problem that conversational AI analytics addresses is the need for organizations to effectively understand and hack the data generated by the conversational AI systems. As I have already told you, this chartboard is based on the AI analytics. So uh, if you consider this is totally based on the AI conversation systems. So by these conversation systems, the customer interaction through the chartboard or virtual assistants and other conversation interfaces Organizations are faced with a growing amount of data that can be difficult to process to understand. Whenever the difficulty in process and understanding is raised, the chatbot uh, interaction with the customers or any other thing will help the customers to be easily to understand. It uses NLP and machine learning languages. So it can convert the uh, any, any statements to the customers easily. face recognition or voice recognition 
based on the customer's uh, question or the response it will give automatically the output a conversation a analytic solution can help the organizations to extract insights from this data allowing them to improve the performance of the conversation a systems and make better decisions based on the data as what we have requested the data it gives automatically response and we can make the better decisions based on the data it can also help to improve the customer experience and increase efficiency okay uh, while using chatbots uh, automatically customer experience or interaction has been totally improved and increased also and so it can make the easy to understand and easy to take decisions on what we have to do next in short it's an opportunity to gain valuable insights from customer interactions and improve customer experience and increase efficiency and make better decisions and next does it so why does this customer target segment may want this as we have already know what unmet means a conversation a solution serves the unmet need of organizations to effectively understand and act on the data generated by their conversation a systems with increasing the use of chatbots virtual listings and other conversation interfaces organizations are faced and with the growing amount of data that can be difficult to process and understand so for example if i take the alexa and siri those those chatbots can't do function two functions at a time if i ask them to switch on the fan and tell me about the weather it only does one function either switch on the phone or check the weather but it can't do uh, at a time two decisions or two functions or two commanding answers but in this we are uh, implementing like this it can perform at a time any number of commands and it can give the responses at any time at the same time the customer target segment may want this solution because it can help them improve their customer service and increase efficiency and for making better decisions by analyzing the data from customer interactions or organizations where the areas can identify the system struggling to understand or respond correctly and make the improvements to the system overall a conversation ai analytic solution can provide organizations with valuable insights that can help them improve their performance and make the better the ida solution create for the customer target segment the value that a conversation ai analytic solution can create for the customer target segment is the ability to effectively understand and act on the data generated by the conversation ai systems the solution can provide the organizations with a valuable insight that can help them to improve the performance of the conversation ai systems make better decisions and ultimately drive growth and improve customer satisfaction improve customer service in what ways means by helping their uh, when they, whenever they request something to our bots we immediately respond to the matter and we can solve the problem so that the, there is an interaction between the customer and we will uh, this box is 24 hours no matter what if you ask anything it will give a response increase efficiency it is implemented in different sectors and used in different sectors so it can be helpful to the people more better than them as the people are uh, depending upon the software better than the hard work so it is used very widely and better decision making by getting the responses from the chat or bots they can take the decisions on what they are doing or what they have to function and in what ways personal experience and cost savings and time management also it can save over a conversation ai analytic solution can provide the organizations with valuable insight that can help them to provide improve their performance and make better decisions and ultimately drive the growth and improve customer satisfaction by using this uh, boards it can more profit for the business sectors because our future is already totally depend upon the ai ai systems or ai intelligence anything depend on ai and we have already seen some chat gpts or any other chat boards or some other services also based on that we have implemented we have uh, taken this idea to implement it. next will be uh, next topic will be continued by the venai uh, he, he will tell us about the market potential on basics of what he have uh, search and what he have gathered information i'm hand over to venai 
గుడ్ మార్నింగ్ సార్ మార్కెట్ సెగ్మెంట్ విచ్ టార్గెట్స్ ది ఈ కామర్స్ బ్యాంకింగ్ అండ్ ఫైనాన్స్ హెల్త్ కేర్ అండ్ టెలికామ్ గవర్నమెంట్ సెక్టార్స్ వాట్ ఈస్ ద మార్కెట్ సైజ్ ఆన్లైన్ రిటైల్ టెలికామ్ అండ్ హెల్త్ కేర్ ఇన్సూరెన్స్ అండ్ బ్యాంకింగ్ సెక్టార్స్ విచ్ contributes the market size of a chart analysis the market size was increasing up to the 9.8 billion in 2020 in expecting 2025 it was increased in the csgr of 27.3 percent during the forecasting period <coughs> what is the market growth the market growth of a the market growth of a growth can be attributed to the several factor factors such as increasing the chatbot and virtual assignments for the conventional analysis and interfaces and the growth amount of the data generated by the system and increases the needs to the organization to be understand and that the, uh, <coughs> the power chatbot and virtual assignment and the messages platform can in customizes the services telecommunication e-commerce and other interfaces sectors generated by this system and the solution solution details can be explained explained by the ramkrishna ji the forwarding to the ramkrishna AI chatbots uh, uses the artificial intelligence and uh, NLP technology to understand the sentence structures. Uh, NLP technology can be used uh, for uh, images and uh, okay, the solution behind the conversation analytics is provide organization a better way of understand the act. The data can be generated by the NLP and uh, can structured uh, within effects. Okay, the process can, that the data can be collected and uh, preprocessor the ability to collect uh, such as uh, talks and audio recording which is a artificial uh, sub uh, sub concept <coughs> and data uh, and the data next to be used in machine learning algorithms and data visualization and next the data can be sent and reporting the ability to generate insights and reporting that can help the organization to under the customer interaction this is the main process where the data can be used for customer interaction and uh, performs the systems automation the ability that which automate the that which uh, exact insert the data that which the saves the time and resources help the organization for making better de decision faster the next data can be used for integration the ability we are using for crm uh, customer service and analytics platform overall the solution is designed to provide organization a valuable insight can help the improve the performance and uh, and ultimately uh, divide the growth and improve the customer satisfaction the next uh, some of the benefits for using uh, chatbot analysis is to provide customer services increase uh, efficiency cost savings better decision making better uh, user experience this will help the uh, increase the customers in uh, organizations or uh, improve the resources the proof of the con uh, next the proof of the concept demonstrated of flexible solution typically used for validate the concept before investing the full development first of all the following steps are used for the proof of the concept data collection the first step to collect the data from the conventional ai system such as customer interaction chatbot or virtual assistant data preprocessing the collected data is uh, cleaned and uh, preprocessed to make suitable for analysis this include tasks such as removing invalid information and converting into a format can be easily analyzed data analysis the preprocessed data is an uh, analysis to using techniques such as natural processing language machine learning uh, 
machine learning uh, can use some of the algorithms such as knn and cnn algorithms next the modeling based upon the insight gained from the data analysis a machine learning model used to build a predict future outcomes and improve that this will uh, this algorithm takes uh, data from the previous uh, previous uh, input and uh, take uh, and uh, give future predictions model evaluation the model is evaluated using different uh, different methods to determine how it will being performing development after the model evaluated it can be developed into conventional ai system monitoring the performance of the conventional ai system is monitored and developed model is find within the new data and update with step of the data is demonstration the proof of concept is dem uh, demonstrated to share stakeholders and uh, decision makers this is where the company representatives are gathered in a cabinet and make the decision it is nothing what that pc is a demonstration of the concept uh, okay the next concept future and deadlines i'm forwarding to the bhavani can we conclude the presentation please good morning to all demonstration is a clear road map for solution including the market launch this is the research and solution healthcare and this is a clear road map solution tells about the how the process is done and in what ways and what type of things we have need in the first time in the first step research and planning we have to research about that what we are implementing and we have to uh, plan to further so in that we have to do a first market research to identify the target customer segment and the specified needs of the customer and next to develop the detailed plan uh, based on the research the next process is solution development to develop a solution it is totally based on the research and planning the step based on the planning we will we'll implement a solution further plan this includes a data architecture algorithm design user interface design security and integration with other systems and after this step it will also next test and validation after the development of the solution we have to test and the validate the our the our project and we have have to see the outcome and post launch and support if the outcome the outcomes from the testing and validation is successful as what we have thought next we have to launch the post launch it is to, it, uh, here it includes the customer support and software updates and maintenance to ensure the continued success of the solution next pilot launch a pilot version of the solution is a limited geographic area with a small group of customers to gather the additional feedback and make the final adjustment before the market launch so here we will done the final adjustment or if any changes are there we will done here in the pilot launch it is sorry to be interrupt you the market is sorry to be hello yes sir uh, annapurna please conclude in uh, a few uh, one minute uh, remaining participants are also there no so please conclude it uh, in one minute okay so totally our main idea is to uh, design a chartbot analysis where where it can helps the organizations in the different sectors in any number of ways uh, so that they can or uh, collect the data in how many users are visiting and how what they are doing and how many visitors are leaving and their feedbacks how they feel about our uh, any type of things or any products or any other things but for based on this uh, it, and mainly it will helps the business to gain more profit than other chatbots we have already seen some chatbots for based on the some other purposes but this chatbot analysis is profits regarding their business like this in this in this type of sectors we can use this we can use this thank you sir thank you annapurna thank you annapurna ah uh, thank you thank you sir
Is my screen visible? Yes, yes. Okay. So uh, I am Syed Yasin from Sri Saram College of Engineering, sir, Bangalore. I like to speak about uh, the emerging technologies in the world right now. So one of them is augmented reality. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yes. Continue, continue. Yes, sir. So one of those emerging technologies is augmented reality. So I'd like to give a brief introduction about what I have prepared. So augmented reality is nothing but the rendering of digital images or data onto real world objects. I'll make it into simple. So uh, augmented reality it basically defines two things. One enhancement, other thing conversion of a 2D to 3D. So basically coming to enhancement. So AR it enhances. Augmented reality we can even call it as AR. So augmented reality, it enhances a real world with the help of some imaginary or virtual views. Real world is the physical world and virtual are some kind of uh, imaginary or some imaginary kind of views. I'll give an example for this. I hope you guys have definitely seen Snapchat and all these filters. Well, these filters are not real, but the lenses or the filters in Snapchat, they're making it to look as if they're real. Snapchat is an example of AR where it is enhancing a real world with the help of its virtual views through those lenses and through those filters. So basically, this was enhancement. Other thing coming conversion of 2D to 3D. So well, basically, a 2D object, we know it can be anything. It can be an image on your book, on your phone. Well, here you can see two photos, photosynthesis and DNA. Well, these are just uh, two dimensional images. Coming to a 3D object, AR, when it scans any kind of 2D image, it can convert it into 3D. Well, basically, 3D means a length, a breadth, and a height. I'll show an example for that. You can see it over here. Backside, you have a blueprint of a house. And over here, it's a 3D model. Well, AR, it can bring something that you're visualizing into reality. So if you're understanding something that you're imagining. Here, the blueprint, you're just imagining how your house is going to look later. But AR, when you're scanning that blueprint, you can see the exact image of how your house will look after it's built. It can bring something unreal to real. Something that you're imagining, it is trying to bring it into reality. So AR, as you know, it's an emerging technology right now. And it has got uh, various choices in most of the fields. Basically, I have chosen three topics here. First, education. Second, travel and tourism. And third is gaming industry. Coming to education, I can say that AR will be really very beneficial for our education system. For example, if you have to study any topic since the beginning of a childhood, for example, if I take example of a heart, one side there is an image, other side there is theory. So all the students, they have to imagine on their own. Okay, this is how the heart is functioning. Here is how the blood is flowing. It is, uh, this is the way it's pumping. And here the uh, arteries, veins, everything is coming in. So when the students have to imagine. But through the help of AR, when you scan that particular heart image. Uh, here you guys can have a look. Here you're scanning that particular image. And over here you're getting a 3D model of that. So the uh, main uh, idea behind this is, well, students like... Uh, Sometimes they're just imagining and some don't concentrate. They just think like, okay, fine, it's just a topic. Before the exam, they'll study a few days before and that's passed. But the thing here is students won't concentrate. When you uh, introduce AI, yeah, when they see something in front, of the, in front of them, when they get to interact with something, like this kind of particular image when they interact, and when they get a chance to feel it, uh, the classes will be more interactive. Students will be attentive in the classes. They'll like to listen to them and students would be, uh, the teachers would be able to make the concepts much clearer. They would be able to understand the concepts much clearly and the students will be able to grasp them. Uh, I can say it as if, like, if you take example of a phone, just a 50 years before, it was a button phone. And today, we have got many kind of smartphones, Oppo, Vivo, Realme, most of them. And even the cars also. How was it 50 years before and how are they today? But our education, it still remains the same. Well, AR can be one step towards advancement of our education system. I can say it as like that. Uh, next thing, coming to travel industry. Yeah. So, uh, during the holidays or when we have got some plans to go to trips, like if you have to go somewhere like Goa, Manali, Uti, a basic problem will come up. 
like uh, where will you go and stay accommodation problems in the hotels when we search in the google uh, every hotel will be telling like okay our hotel is good just come here just come here our accommodations are good but one simple problem will it be up to our mark or not so ar as i said when you scan that particular hotel it can give you a clear view of the particular hotel the rooms the accommodations the mess canteen hospitality you can just check if it is up to your mark and like you know it would be good before like just going and regretting if that hotel is not good you can get a clear view over here third gaming industry well i hope you guys have definitely heard about the pokemon go it was a very popular uh, ar game that was released in 2016 but one interesting thing i like to tell about this ar it became such wide popular that it was almost to get banned like you know why it actually creates a virtual environment inside your phone and just like the how the pokemon series goes you have to just keep on going finding pokemons but what happened is people started ignoring all the traffic lights the vehicles and all and lot of accidents were caused but still thankfully the game is not deleted it's still available but when you download it it will give you a warning that uh, while playing just take care of everything uh, if something happens to you it's nothing like us play it at your own risk simple thing and after this pokemon go was released right uh, a lot of users started demanding more and more ar games to develop just like pokemon go so in the next 5 or 10 years the games that were playing right now it will be converted into ar because people will like to uh, play games like where will be there more interaction kind of things just like pokemon go over here similarly uh, over here visualization and annotation so visualization i have told ar can bring something that you're imagining into reality just something you're thinking it is trying to bring it into reality and on, and annotation is nothing but the way how you're doing it so my project over here is uh, same thing as i said conversion of 2d to 3d well i have made used over here of two uh, softwares unity and wooforia unity as we know it's a very powerful game engine lots of games such as the among us pokemon go call of duty hitman sniper i hope all of you have heard about this so all of these kind of popular games were all made in unity and even the project that i have designed is also made using unity so two softwares are made used unity and wooforia well unity as you all know it's a very powerful game engine and wooforia it is a software development kit so wooforia is nothing for developing ar apps so unity and wooforia they are available online we can uh, clearly download them over here this is the dashboard or the front screen of unity here that you are seeing the camera type of view it is the main screen of unity and over here we have done the entire project i'll show you the process Over here, I hope you guys can see this down a 2D image, and over here a 3D model. So what we have done is we have taken a 2D image and we have placed a 3D model above that. So 2D image it can be anything you can download from Google, from your book. You can just place any 2D model over there. And the 3D model it is actually available in the Unity as well. Uh, as well. Uh, there is a separate feature called Asset Store where the developer has already inbuilt many kind of things. this 3d models we need not to require separately create a 3d model we can directly download 3d models from the asset store itself so we have taken a 2d model upon that we have placed a 3d model and after just like the dna as well a 2d image and from the asset store we have created a 3d model over here so just uh, after everything and the color correction has done when you open any kind of um, um, wooforia through wooforia we have creating an app uh, the app you can create using for the android for ios for mac it can be anything that's it sir can i show the project or is it enough it's enough sir thank you for your presentation we will get back to you soon thank you sir